So uh, I got involved with Tori uh, in kind of a really random way. I, that I was uh, a, a few months back, I was having one of those nights where I just couldn't sleep well. And after a couple hours of tossing and turning, I got up and decided to get some work done on my computer. And, um, and then as we often do, I ended up on Facebook just killing time. And I was, I was just flipping through my news feed on Facebook. And um, I saw this um, video of an artist that I was unfamiliar with. And so I clicked on it and it's probably two in the morning. And, I'm, and I was just um, completely taken back by what I heard. And it was Tori Harper singing After Dark. And um, what was incredibly moving to me at, in that moment was that so often, uh, because I'm involved in, in the making of so much music, I, I hear a lot of things that are um, written well and sound amazing. They, have, they tick all the boxes. But there was something about um, the way she was singing this song that I was, I was listening beyond just the, all the stuff being right. Um, there, was, there was something deep coming out of this young 18 year old girl. And the, this song, um, it just, it jumped out at me. And so I decided to write on there, which I'd never ever do. <laughs> for fear that I might somehow end up being asked to produce, um, I decided to write on there, hey, this is really special or something like that. And um, what I didn't realize at the time, uh, I've had a, a long-term relationship, friendship with her dad, who's been my manager for lots of, lots of the years that have been really incredible for me. And, uh, and because she was, she was using an artist's last name, um, that I just didn't recognize it as uh, my friend's daughter. And so uh, Dave, her dad, calls me um, and is like, hey, that was really, really kind of you to do that. And um, we start talking and, and I just, and, and talking about how special that, that his daughter is and the songs that she writes and the way she communicates her songs. And um, so he did ask if I could get involved and maybe do some production on this with my friend Paul Mabry. And um, it was like a, truly an honor, honestly. And she came into this room here. We did, we did most of the song right here. And it, it's um, one of the uh, only songs I've ever recorded where the artist wrote the song sang the song we hardly had to do any editing or tuning she played the guitar on the song and that's mainly what you hear and um, she's just she's an incredible person um, I think this is truly just the beginning for her and I feel super honored to to play a role with uh, all that Tori Harper is doing uh, one thing I've uh, loved so much um, as a writer and a producer is those rare moments when you when you find something that no one else has yet found or heard and um, get to see something first or hear something first and be a part of the development of what they're going to become and so in, in my over the years I, I had the opportunity to do that with building 429 and uh, bring them in and actually funny story but I started with management with them and kind of managed them and got them their first record deal and then uh, did the same thing with Meredith Andrews. And then 10th Avenue North was a band that I got, uh, was, uh, had that same opportunity to hear something before anyone else and get with a group of guys and develop them and, and be a part of launching them in the beginning. And so um, it's actually been a while since I've, I feel like I've heard something that uh, had that on it that uh, you're hearing something for the first time and you you know it's going to change the world and uh, the same thing happened with Tori and it's just amazing she's 18 and uh, I know no one knows who she is at this point but um, I feel like I'm one of the lucky guys that got to hear her in the beginning and, and I'm so excited about where this where this is going to go.